Hi, this is Massimo. So if you correctly set up some outputs and you successfully added some fixtures to your universes, it is now time to test if everything works as expected. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the simple desk context. Simple desk is quite a useful tool uh, that can be used in several ways. The most straightforward is to manually control uh, individual DMX channels. The top part view represents a whole universe up to address 512. Universes can be switched uh, with this selector up here. So you can immediately inspect if your fixtures are there and are mapped correctly. Each fixture channel has an icon representing the meaning of the, of the channel. So um, for example, here I've added a moving head for convenience. Uh, moving heads are quite easy to test because they have movement, so you can quickly uh, see if they are moving and uh, if therefore if, if, it is, if they are mapped correctly. So if I'm moving, for example, the pan channel like this, I should see the moving head rotating. Um, if it is not rotating, it can be uh, many reasons. Uh, for example, the output is not mapped correctly, the addressing is not correct, the line is interrupted for some reason. There might be several uh, reasons that are not treated in this video. But if everything works uh, correctly, you should see the head moving, uh, for example, pan and also tilt. As you can see, the channel uh, once it is touched, it is modified, it, it becomes red, which is a strong sign that Simple Desk is actually taking control of that channel. This means that everything you do in QLC Plus, from functions to virtual console widget, is overridden by this tool. So when a channel is read on Simple Desk, this is the value that it's actually outputted by. Uh, QSC Plus. This simple desk is the last staging before output. So be careful when you use it uh, because it overrides everything you're doing elsewhere. So um, don't forget to uh, reset or disengage simple desk when uh, you are doing a live show. Otherwise, channels can be stuck to these values uh, and you forgot about them. You can have unexpected results. So to disengage a channel, just press the X button below uh, it to reset it to zero or the previous value it had. Um, channel icons uh, can also be pressed to uh, open a so-called preset tool. For example, the dimmer has an intensity tool like this. Uh, in, in in this case, there's also a switch between DMX and percentage value. So if you like to uh, work in percentage, this can be a handy way of doing it. Um, there are several tools. For example, uh, color wheels are represented like this, or a shutter or in general uh, presets are re um, represented like this. Uh, gobbles, for example, are mapped. And here you can actually realize how important it is to map properly, to define properly a fixture definition, um, because now it is very convenient uh, when I need a feature um, to have all the, the representation, the accurate representation of every functionality. Uh, there is also a beam. Uh, Pen and tilt are represented like this. Um, basically, you work in degrees, uh, and it uh, the tool uh, shows you the maximum degrees uh, supported by this channel and this fixture, like this. If you want to reset the whole universe, there's also an X button for the whole universe, so just press it and everything will go to zero. If you want to uh, jump to a specific fixture, there's a helper down here. So for example, if I want to uh, jump to the, this generic part, 
um, I can just press the, the fixture and it will be aligned at the leftmost, uh, uh, the channel will be aligned uh, on the left. So, to, for example, to um, highlight or to uh, check if um, PAR is correctly mapped, um, I should raise the dimmer channel and, for example, one color. And like doing this, uh, the physical fixture should be, should be emitting a green color. Dimmers are quite easy to test as well. Um, because they have a single channel, so raising one channel should produce something on the output um, dimmer connected to your uh, dimmer pack or whatever you're using. So this is pretty straightforward as well. Um, you can uh, work uh, with percentages also for the whole universe. There's another button here that can be switched. So if you prefer to work in a percentage here, you can switch the whole universe like this. On the bottom right part of the screen, there's a tool called Keypad. Some of you might already know what it does uh, because it comes from uh, basically a legacy workflow and it was present in uh, historical uh, consoles. So um, it is basically a tool to manually input some comments uh, to set um, DMX channels programmatically with a um, specific syntax. So let's uh, see some examples on how to use it. So for example, if I want channel 12 at value uh, 111, I can just do this and channel 12 will uh, go to the desired value. Uh, if I want multiple, multiple channels to be set, for example, channel from 10 up to um, 15, and I want them at value uh, 78. I can do this, and I will. They will all go to the desired value at once. Um, there are also convenient um, commands to go to uh, maximum and minimum value, like for example 11 uh, full, and it will do this, or uh, 13 zero, and it will do this. I can also um, set channels uh, with a gap between them and this is very um, uh, nice when you have multiple fixtures and you want to set a specific channel at the same value in one single command. So for example if I do 1 uh, through 7 with a gap of uh, 2 basically because it's 1 plus the channel and I want them at value one, two, three, and I hit enter, they will go like this in a single command. This is really nice when you have also complex fixtures and you know exactly uh, where the channels are on the, on the universe. Um, another cool thing is, for example, if I want, um, for example, again, channel 12 at 100, uh, for example, if I want to modify an existing value by a percentage, so for example, again, channel 12, I want to add, uh, I don't know, 15%, and it will do this. Um, this is really nice uh, when you are working on um, scenes uh, and you want to dump values from a simple desk. Uh, another usage is, for example, it can take the last command and modify the value. For, for example, if I say at 55, it will know that the last channel modified was channel 12 and it will go to value 55 and so on. So basically there are um, several comments and combinations that can be done. Um, there's also the common history, so you can go back or inspect what you've done and so on. So this is another uh, nice tool uh, introduced in version 5. Um, last but not least, as you might have noticed, when I 
uh, move channels in simple desk and they become red there's a counter here uh, that uh, increases or decreases depending on how many channels I'm overriding and this is the entry point for uh, so-called scene dumping so um, I can use simple desk to actually create scenes in a very convenient way um, so this will be treated as a whole in another video talking about scenes but um, that's another functionality of simple desk so for this video this is all thanks for watching and ciao